Howdy, folks. Creepy Kentucky in here. I'm Uncle Bill. Hi. This is a fun one. This is going to be a fun one. We've been talking about doing this video for a little while. We almost got it for Halloween, but not quite. So we're having some Halloween in December. Uncle this Bill, is just <laughs> this is just one of those things where there comes a point in your life when you see something enough and you just have to like, you just have to do something with it like mm -hmm. it becomes a parody of itself and it really does yeah you just you just have to talk about it and that's one of these times so what this is someone had sent us someone real close to the show by the way sent us a picture and was letting us know this was going on conventions we haven't heard anything from our good friend tony moran in a little while um until recently and as y'all know Halloween Kills came out back in October. Yeah. And I'm thinking most, if not all, of the footage, except for very, very, very... We'll, we'll, we're going to look at it here in a second. Um, so Tony Moran is not credited for Halloween Kills, but he has started, and we'll overlay a picture over this video here to take credit and i'm sure he's going to have it on some vinyl banners for convention appearances and he is signing tony moran michael myers h1 h2 and kills uncle bill i don't even know really what to say about that um because it's it's technically not even true. I mean, in a way it's true, but it's technically not true. And I think that to illustrate that point is kind of why we're doing what we're doing today about like uh, how that is that is technically true, but also technically not true. And yeah, I feel like there's to... a lot of people that um, don't know a lot about the, his history in these movies that would probably believe he was in like all of those movies for a period of time. Um, and that is not the case. Well, we're here to educate you people. Yeah. Cause a lot of people don't, I mean, you know, casual fans aren't really going to know. No. So what this is, this is a watch along we're doing. We haven't done one of these in a while. But I'm excited about doing this one because this is Tony Moran's portrayal of Michael Myers in all three movies. And this is Oscar winning stuff. I mean, he, I don't know why he wasn't nominated, but he should have been mm -hmm. for this fucking powerhouse performance he's getting ready yeah. to give. And we have confirmed these scenes, all of these scenes, it's all Tony Moran. Everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to uh, get to. The video and do a little bit of commentary over it, Uncle Bill. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Now keep in mind that there have been multiple different people that have portrayed Michael Meyer in each one of these movies, right? So we're just showing Tony Moran's contribution to the Halloween franchise. Yeah. And we're gonna try to critique his performance, right? We're kind of right. like I'm going to see how it ranks up to all the other Michael Myers in the Halloween movies. I'm excited. Me oh. too. He's a thespian. Here we go. So this is the original, the one, there the only. Go. Now you take a look at this, and this this is not him, by the way. But uh, That's Donald Pleasant, Slayer. Right, and that's not him either. And th there he is. And this is, this is powerful. That's him. He walks forward. He looks perturbed, and that's it. Let's see part, part two. Um, that's that's part two there. His performance in part two. Okay, part two. It looks kind of kind of similar. Familiar somehow. Um, There's Donald Pleasance again. He's doing Donald the exact Pleasance same thing he up. did in part one. And here he goes. Is that? It's a little bit shorter and more in the shadows this time. And that. Oh, oh okay. And here's that's the latest movie. Way. I'm really excited about his performance. Halloween. Uh, what? <laughs> <that? laughs> what the hell happened there? 
I just love that the last, <laughs> the last one, they're just like, no, no. Just fucking, they don't so, even show yeah. any of it. For those that do not know, I think he had a little bit longer of a roll in Halloween Kills, and that was that was cut out. Now, I don't think it was anything extra that we didn't see in Halloween one or two, um, but it's possible. I mean, they you know. So by all means, y'all give this motherfucker forty dollars, <laughs> please, for that. Like three different his contribution. Um, yeah. Yeah, which was a total of all three movies, seriously, without the intros and stuff, was probably 35 seconds. Yeah, and it's the same 35 seconds. And so, I got to admire the kind of moronic, moronic, his irony in that, uh, look that he gives when the mask is taken off and then he puts it back on. And you can see, you know, just the just the shallowness in his eyes as he puts the mask back on. And really what he was going for there was a lot of uh a lot of method acting, what's, I feel like. What's funny too is I you know, I talked to a Halloween expert. So I was like, Okay, there's one other scene where Michael is standing in the in the shadows before he gets shot again or whatever. Right. But that wasn't Tony Moran. That was Nick no. Cass. <laughs> No. I don't think any of that shit, with the exception of that one scene, is Tony Moran. Like, well, just yeah. what you saw there—that's yeah. that was that was Tony Moran's per, you know portrayal of Michael Myers in all three movies. So we did want to do um, you know commentary, kind of watch along for not only entertainment purposes, <laughs> but to let you guys know. I mean, this is what this guy did. Um. It, James Jude Courtney was the main Michael Myers, right? I think, from what I've been told, aside from one deleted scene which Nick Castle portrayed Michael Myers in, he was Michael Myers in the entire fucking movie. Um, so you may want to get his signature if you're wanting to get anybody you know that was actually Michael Myers in Halloween Kills because it was not Tony Moran. Sorry. Look, I mean, Tony Moran is a legend. He's marrying people now. He's going to fucking In West haunted. Virginia. <laughs> yeah, he's going to haunted like hospitals. It's kind of a big deal. And I think that we should treat him that way. Treat him with some he, respect. Because he definitely treats the fans with respect. And the people that made Halloween with respect. So I don't know why we wouldn't treat him with the same respect. It's fucking silly over here. So that is it. Um, that's it for this video. I know it's kind of a brief video, but, uh, yeah, definitely like it, comment, subscribe on it and all that good stuff, whatever you do. And, uh, until next time, creepy Kentucky. And I'm Uncle Bill. Check us out, polls. We're over at deadpit.com. It's a fucking site. It's on Patreon. Now thumbs now. up. Up your butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a f if you do. I want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe and click that bell. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears started only one dollar.